Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today's video is another Forza Fun guide uh, all about a mini adventure. So without further ado, you know I don't like hanging around, let's get stuck in to this week's challenges. Now first of all you need to pick yourself a mini of sorts, uh, so obviously you can filter your cars just to show the minis that you own. There is quite a few of them, um, obviously a popular choice would probably be the X-Raid, but the one that I would go for is either 1965 Classic Mini or the 2012 John Cooper works mini uh, I went for the 2012 one and as you can see here I've created a tune for it which is very very fun um, and it will help you blitz through the challenges talking of which the first challenge wants you to win two road race series events so obviously you can filter your map to show you which road races you've got available now it doesn't matter if it's a circuit uh, or a sprint race you can go with either all you have to do is win two of them now I went over to the Moorhead wind farm circuit uh, and created a one lap circuit race as it's probably the quickest road racing series race um, unless you've created a really short one but obviously I couldn't be asked to go into route creator so I just created a blueprint to show uh, for one lap on this circuit and it is very very easy of course the good thing about the Forzathon challenges is it does not matter what difficulty you are on just as long as you win the two so obviously as soon as you've won the first one as you can see there uh, you come back out of it and then you hop in to a second one just by clicking on solo again over to your custom events and you'll find the one lap race that you've just created it's as simple as that very very quick and very very easy now for the next challenge it wants you to win three dirt series events so again it doesn't matter if it's a circuit or a sprint race as long as it's a dirt race um, there is quite a lot to pick from uh, but I used the normal one that I always go for which is the Ambleside Scramble uh, and again I created just a one lap blueprint for Mini Coopers uh, as it's just quicker and easier and of course you can change the weather and, and the season and whatever else um, and again once you've won one you then come out the race get your winnings uh, and then go back into your custom events and set it all up again obviously I've sped the footage up just because because it's a bit boring to watch the race as you already know how it works uh, just make sure you win it three times so like I said you go back into it into your custom events where you've got your one lap race set up for Mini Coopers very very easy now the last challenge wants you to get nine stars from speed zones um, so of course the speed zone is the one that takes your average speed from a certain point to another point the one I recommend going for as per usual is forest green as for three stars all you need is to do 90 mile an hour, which is more than doable on this one, uh, especially using this Mini Cooper and this tune as well. It will take you literally a minute uh, to get all nine stars, providing obviously you get three stars in each run. So it's just one run, then you turn around as you can see here, then another run, and then turn around and get your final run. And if you get three stars on each, that's nine stars literally in a minute. No word of a lie. As you can see here, I won't be speeding the footage up, so you can see how quick it literally is. Um, like I said, 90 mile an hour to get three stars. It's probably the easiest speed zone in the game. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope that this video has helped you out, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please do drop a like and say so in the comments. It is very much appreciated. Uh, and if you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe with notifications on for more helpful Forza Horizon 4 videos. Of course, we are expecting the new expansion pack to come out soon. And as soon as the details on that are released, I'll be straight on it letting you guys know. Uh, but anyway, guys, a massive, massive thank you for everyone's support. I hope, like I said, that you enjoyed this video and it helped you. Uh, and all the best, guys. Take care.